surgery is a big thing. It's not just like a little, you know, minor decision. And I think I could just get it all one and done, but it is a surgery. New bedroom at her new place with her father where I am actually staying, which some people might find so weird. What are we not gonna do, y'all? We're not gonna ship me and my co-parent together. No, 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 no. The ship has sailed. Sailed. It's a week in my life, and technically it's not Monday. Monday was Labor Day. I did a bunch of driving and you didn't miss anything, okay? Tuesday is when my week is starting. You're gonna hate me. Some might hate me. I hope you don't hate me. And I hope I don't hate me with the choices I'm making today, okay? Because... Is that a sign? I'm going back to blonde, okay? The alarms are ringing. The reveal. Very anticlimactic, I know. Well, it is, because it's a big change, but this isn't how I like wanted to show the new hair. It's also been, it's the next day. It's Wednesday? Yeah, I got my hair done on, yeah, okay. The math is mathing. I got my hair yesterday on Tuesday, and I was, my goal was to, you know, film everything. My camera died, and my appointment took so long that we didn't get to like do all the probably like the finishing touches i didn't film the after because i had to go run and pick up my daughter from school then i had to drive her back and then i forgot that i had a premiere for the secret lives of mormon wives and honestly i just wanted to go to that because i thought it was going to be like really interesting to just see the whole i don't know dynamic of it i don't know a ton about what's on the show or who's on the show. I know one girl a little bit on the show, just like a parasocial, we sometimes DM relationship and I think she's really sweet and really nice. So I did want to meet her. And also a lot of people I know in the industry that work behind the scenes were gonna be there, like old managers of mine. Just an excuse to go out and have a cocktail at the London Hotel, I was all about. And then I realized that it's, they kept on brand, even though I know there's some controversy that not all of the girls are super practicing Mormon. I don't know the whole lore behind it. And I don't want to get into the drama. I'm no drama, but there was no alcohol there. It was beverage stations, which was fine. It was still nice to get out. The only thing that was not fine is that I did forget about it while packing and I didn't realize it was cocktail dress up attire. So I pretty much wore something like boxers, sneakers, <laughs> the ribbed white tank top where everyone else is in heels and glam dresses. So I didn't take any pictures. This is how I'm showing my hair. Long story short, not the best way. I do think there are some tweaks. I'm gonna probably go back, hopefully this week before I leave back home. Because if you can't tell, I'm in my daughter's new bedroom at her new place with her father, where I am actually staying, which some people might find so weird. But yeah, I'm sleeping in her room with her. I could, I could, you know what? Actually, maybe her dad does want to be on camera because he like sometimes randomly gets really creative ideas and thinks oh we should make this a TikTok or oh you need to put this in your vlog and then I go to film it and then maybe he'll say yeah and then sometimes he'll be like I don't want to be on camera. I'll leave that story for when he's back, he's at work, I'm technically working if I can even call this work this is really just having fun and chatting with you guys. My daughter's father is a pretty private person. He did post something on Instagram alluding to I guess what would make sense of this current situation and I'll just say new beginnings for him I am here to support him and of course us support our daughter work through you know all these transitions you know mom moved back home with her parents we're finding a new school for her over there and kind of figuring out how this path goes when I tell you there has been so many changes and updates within my life and the lives around me. My main goal through all of this has just been helping my daughter navigate this the best way possible. Just been 
spending as much time with her as possible, helping her kind of understand this. I know not everyone will go through exactly what I go through. That would be <laughs> unusual, but I'm sure you're gonna go through your own life journeys that you'll have to learn how to not only navigate yourself, but helping your child learn and navigate and feel safe and confident throughout the experiences, whether it's a move, a separation, a breakup, health issue, a death in the family. I mean, there's so many things that when you're, you know, starting out as a parent, really like living in the moment, especially in the newborn stage and the toddler stage, you're just taking it one milestone at the time. And let me tell you, throughout parenthood, it doesn't end at 18. Between the entire life of you and your little ones, you are gonna be learning how to navigate so many things that I can't even fathom. Like your little one's first heartbreak, your little one pursuing a dream and it being hard and you know, helping them work through that and I'm just having things flash in my head that I, I don't know how I'm gonna handle but as a parent, somehow you figure it out and you, and you step it up and you get there and you solve it it's it's a superpower. I will do a little tour of my daughter's room because I think her father did such a cute job of it and he's legitimately been here a, two days. But all the work he did on it was in one day, which is insane. The only mess is gonna be my suitcases. If you open the door, we have this beautiful arched bed frame from West Elm. I believe it's a full and it fits both me and my daughter and just an array of blankets and pillows. This corner over here, yes, this is gonna be properly mounted, earthquake-proofed mirror, but I thought this little station, arts and crafts station was so cute. Of course, it is uh, my daughter's father, so there's skateboards in here. My daughter does love them though, and she asked for more. On the long side of the wall, we have these double Ikea stacks one is great for toys and then the other one with the bin are going to be all the foldable clothes the other like dresses are hanging but yeah her dad is really good at doing a bunch of artwork we have curtains hung up for black out but if you can see they don't reach the bottom so he is going to work on that over here that. like i told you a lot of artwork i don't know where he got these get myself all finished with work and editing because i think Little Arrow is going to be home very, very soon. Like, 10 minutes. <laughs> hey, we made it. We're back at Grandma and Grandpa's house. Oh, I need to turn off my car. Whew. Okay, let's get you out of here, yeah? <gasps> Ryan! Yeah. Hi! 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 We made it Hi. back home and we're having a heat wave. So we're gonna help my mom's chickens. Oh my gosh, we got our chicken. She's, what's it called? Egg bound? Egg bound. I felt underneath and I just feel something hard. I hope I'm right. Because She's of the heat. Not gonna like it. We oh. have to put her in oh, a warm bath. She likes it. Did you sit down? Yeah, don't get scared. Yeah, I know, it's, it needs to get on your butt. Your fluffy bird butt. It's okay, baby. And did you drink a little water? As you can see, it's a bit of an unusual day. I think it's 108 here, which is not the norm. It's a total heat wave and all the animals are struggling. I'm coming! So get a nesting pad and bring Put it in that box in there. It's okay. a mess in there. I'm actually playing a, a hide and seek with her. Can you? Can you? Can you Where when is she it? comes, when she comes in here and finds me, then uh, okay. I'll uh, you go get it. I'll go get it. Yeah. Okay. There we are. <laughs> I am naked mole rat vibes. I scrubbed off my spray tan, and I only shampooed my hair because I'm gonna try a new product. I've been wanting to try this forever, but now that my hair is sizzled. It's the K18 Leave-In Molecular Repair Mask. It's supposed to be different than anything else, at least I've used. It's a bond repair, kinda. I, honestly, I don't fully know. All I know is you shampoo your hair, you don't condition it, you towel dry your hair, 
and then you put this in your hair after you lather it to a white milky foamy color you leave it on for four minutes and there's controversy on the internet whether you just don't do any conditioner ever and add styling products and style your hair my hair might be too damaged to do that some people were saying after the four minutes it's totally activated and sucked into your hair so you could hop back in the shower and add conditioner but my plan as a multitasker is i'm going to see how it looks after an hour without doing the conditioner and do a spray tan i I'm just a sucker for a one or two hour, not spray tan, self tan. Yeah, baby? I want you want a hug? Of course, baby. I'm right here. I'm gonna do four pumps because I have a lot of hair. You gotta really, really emulsify it. Wow, it's not turning white yet. They're not kidding. It almost smells like sunscreen. Is that. I feel like it looks whiter when people do it, or am I just so pale that it looks normal on my skin? If this seems choppy, I'm filming with my little one. I don't know if it's obvious from the vlogs, but I have not had any alone time. Love this stuff. This is my base for my face, so I might get interrupted. I just really hope for whatever reason I don't have to get wet in the next hour or two with my little one. Luckily, she just did. She asked for a bowl of milk <laughs> when I was doing my hair. And then I just hear, oops, I've made a mistake. I'll never do it again. Bowl of milk poured all over <laughs> our dog. Um, I cleaned it up. I just really hope nothing else <laughs> happens. One, ah, let's just two big squirts. And you're just gonna need a synthetic brush. That is more Firm synthetic will make it so it doesn't suck up as much product. Hello, Arrow. Your outfit looks beautiful. For the body, I really have no tips other than I just like to go straight like this and then I'll blend. Hello again. It's ready to fly. There's a surprise. We're in the cooking phase, the, the roasting phase. <laughs> Hopefully when I come back, all this will have been worth it. And no, I love you. I love you. I love you to the moon and back. You are not ready. My self tan is still cooking, but the K18 is worth the hype because I didn't even add any products other than the K-18. I didn't go in with a conditioner, and you all saw my hair throughout the week. Look at this, okay? It healed, it did magic. You can hear my daughter's game right now, but for me, I always hate when I fall in love with a pricier product, but at least if your hair is damaged, it is worth every single penny. This is crazy crazy the other crazy thing is i'm doing all this and i have literally nowhere to go maybe i should have a little fun day date with arrow and your headphones i don't like my headphones you don't like your headphones well you need them for school that was one of the items we had to get for school i got her the cutest little kitty headphones she doesn't like them probably just because she's not used to wearing them but they're adorable because they do like math time on ipads so and they need headphones for that can I help you? Can I help you? <laughs> and I'll scan them again when you fill them out. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I did get ready for you guys. I did not leave my house today. We're still in that heat wave. But this morning I had to get a lot of paperwork done Way more than I thought was involved for school, but my daughter is starting a new school up here finally, so we had to get that all hashed out. I'm so excited. One, just because my girl's a social girl, I know she's gonna love being able to make new friends out here. I'm hoping maybe I can meet other parents where I am now because other than my family and some goats and donkeys, 
chickens, I don't know anyone. <laughs> and even if I open the dating app, there's nobody within like 40 miles of me. So I'm gonna meet hopefully some farm families. I think that'll be really fun. I've had a lot of questions about co-parenting. Obviously we are still co-parenting, but I'm really excited about this school schedule because now we're really going to finally have a real schedule co-parenting up until now. Because we're just both self-employed creative, it's been very go with the flow. I feel like everyone's co-parenting relationship and schedule is gonna be so different. I always get DMs on what mine is and I've never shared it just because one, I think it's private and two, I don't think it would be helpful because everyone's situation is different. Oh, before I forget, uh, no, I'm not dating even though I opened up the dating apps. It was mostly just to see if anyone, <laughs> hello, 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 lived around here. <laughs> which they do, they do. I, I'm not, it's not that ruler, ruler. I can't say that word. Rule, R, U, R, A, L. Rule, R. See, this is why I can never be an actor because there's just some words I legitimately could never say for my life. I, it might be a little bit of a speech impediment, <laughs> but where was I going? Yes, we did make that funny video. My co-parent and I, Cody, of just that, you know, we're both single again and kind of how funny that dynamic is, especially because we're just like homies, we're friends. I, I say homies because that's really the vibe of us. We're almost like two bros, uh, bro now. I thought that little skit was gonna be too niche, but a lot of people thought it was really funny and a lot of other people thought it was either me trying to like show that, whoa, we're both single, what's gonna happen? Uh, literally nothing. The reason we get along so well and are such good friends and things have been so swimmingly as co-parents supporting our daughter is because we are co-parents and we are not together. I don't know how else to describe it. If you are in somehow a similar situation to me, then you probably understand. But yeah, no shipping of us. I, I did delete some of the comments here and there, especially if it was like, have another baby. I, I don't think <laughs> having another baby would ever solve an unhealthy relationship and bring two people together. Uh, maybe in some type of a Hallmark movie or, you know, maybe there is a realm of possibility where that did work for a couple. Obviously I lots of situations are possible, but that is just, no, 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 no. So no, no more shipping of us. Please and thank you. We are very content being a unit of support for our daughter. I know there have been so many changes in my life and there were some things like if you can put the context clues together, obviously you can see outside of my bubble, but within my life, some people have been going through changes and now you might understand what they were. Uh, there's even more. My, li my life's a hoot, but one fun change is the car I have, I lease, my lease is over, and I loved my car, but I think I wanna just change it up and do something more cost efficient. I think I have six months to figure out which car I want, and that seems like a long time, but I know how time works when you're a parent, and that's gonna fly by. I only feel comfortable with the exact size car I have, which is an SUV and not, what do you call it, an eight-seater? more is it a six seater when there's th or five seater when there's three in the back and then two up front i don't want to drive like a big boat car i'm not that confident and i also don't feel comfortable in a sedan because i i don't know i feel like things could squish me easier i'm sure i'm wrong on that but that's just how i feel internally <laughs> so an suv one of my friends is a car person and he said i should get a genesis because it's very similar to the size car I have now. I don't know anything about it. I think it's a subset, an offset of Hyundai or some, I really know nothing, of some car company. I think it's getting really good reviews. Let me know if you have the Genesis and let me know based off that size of that car, what car you would recommend. I would like something honestly as affordable as possible. I don't know how much a Genesis is. Watch it be an expensive car. Oh, I see Arrow, I see my daughter and grandpa taking a little walk. They're looking at all the birds and all the flowers, which is how I'm, I'm filming this right now. Uh, yeah, so car change, let me know in the comments down below what car you drive, why you like it. 
I could possibly be open to a smaller or bigger car, but I don't know. My driving capabilities are limited right now. <laughs> Why don't I just update you on one more change? I had all these like updates listed. I have, you know, really decided, I think, I, I always, I don't wanna say 100%, but that like, I'm, I'm one and done now, and so I've kind of been looking at my body and being like, I could probably change some things. I don't know, I don't know. I am not against plastic surgery. I have not had anything done that isn't Botox or filler like years ago. Botox recently, but fillers, I don't know, maybe eight years ago. I wouldn't do fillers again. Not a fan, Botox, I am a fan. I have it in and I can still move my face. Love that. It just makes my face look glowy and shiny and healthy even though it's poison. I digress, <laughs> but if you don't know, I have a umbilical hernia and my belly button also kind of exploded. I have an old belly button piercing hole that closed up, but when I got pregnant, it stretched out and gauged, but I couldn't get, like, it's gross. The dead skin that grew in between the gauge, pregnancy gauge of my old belly button ring hole and I would like to get it removed because it's just not my fave. He doesn't hurt all the time, but he hurts some of the time and getting rid of, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see, but it's just like a little belly button piercing thing and then my belly button that kind of exploded. Can you see? The hernia is obviously not aesthetic, but some of the other things I wanna do, I guess would be aesthetic, like changing my belly button or removing the belly button piercing hole. And I think I could just get it all one and done, but it is a surgery. With that being said, my other question is if you are in LA or Santa Barbara or anywhere in the surrounding areas, really, I will drive not to a different state, but I will drive a little bit for a good plastic surgeon. But I knew I was never ever going to touch anything if I was gonna have more kids. And even if I do get that done and they, you know, fix the hernia and stuff, and I do get pregnant, it just reverses all the work. It's not like I could not get pregnant again. It just, I would have to do the surgery all over again. But I'm like, I'm 33 now. I would like to wear, I already will wear a two-piece bathing suit, but I think I would enjoy it more if I just wasn't thinking about my intestines were like a little bit coming through my belly button. <laughs> And there's no, and I, I'm not body shaming myself or anyone else. This is just an internal thought and feeling. And I feel like if you think about something a lot and you really want to change it and you have the ability to, and you have the help around that can help you because surgery is a big thing. It's not just like a little, you know, minor decision. It is still a big surgery. Um, yeah, I have no problem with it. I, my brain is not working today. You have... <laughs> stayed a lot longer than I thought you were going to. If you did, thank you. I promise once, now we have a routine and schedule coming into place. I am, you know, resetting myself. I'm getting healthy physically and mentally, and I am gonna figure out within my space how I can create just content I really, really love, and I don't know, maybe start new series, and dive back into content that I was making before motherhood because I feel like a lot of us, if you were on the motherhood journey with me, we are now kind of focusing some attention back on myself, which I think is so beautiful and I'm so excited. And I keep looking over there because that is where I filmed my last video and I thought it was gonna be a good filming spot. And to me, it just didn't look good. I almost scrapped that video entirely and did not post it. The, the last one I posted where I still had brunette hair and I think I'm trying to figure out what I can do because I just want a background where I can sit and make really good videos where it's aesthetic and the lighting's good and I can show outfits and who knows I just want the world to be my oyster with the creativity -ness. if you did enjoy today's video make sure to give it a big thumbs up Leave a comment on any of the questions I asked. If you have an answer for me, I would very much appreciate it. And I will see you guys next Monday. Bye. Pew.